Hello and welcome to the latest episode of From the Horse's Mouth. We have got Ian from Brunch in Culture, which is the local uh, local sandwich um, sandwich and coffee shop in Culture. Previously, Le Brunch, it has changed for those who might not have noticed. And uh, we've got Ian here, who's the owner. And again, he's going to talk to us about what he's done, uh, what happened at the beginning of lockdown. Uh, what happened in between lockdown and what he's doing for him, his business and obviously the staff and the local community going forward um, and, and what he's got to offer. So I'm going to hand it over to say hello to Ian now. And uh, Ian, yeah, tell us your story. What's uh, what, What's been going on? What's happened? Cheers, Dave. Uh, thanks for having me, first of all. Uh, yeah, so for those of you that don't know me, uh, as Dave said, I, I'm Ian, the owner of Brunch Sandwich Bar and Coffee Shop in the in the village here in Culture. Uh, this October will be 13 years we've been here. Wow. So, so uh, time flies, really. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we, we, we're open six days a week here, 8, 8 a.m. till 2, 9 till 2 on a weekend. Yeah. We, we offer breakfast, lunch, coffee, uh, buffet platters, all, all freshly made, made to order daily. So, yeah, we, we've uh, we, we've kind of been. It's been kind to us compared to a lot of hospitality. Yeah. Uh, the last twelve months, and as I said earlier today, ironically, today's the day last year that we had to close the doors because we we had no idea what what uh, what was round the corner. No. Um, the guys who, uh, who were watching this afterwards, because it is recorded this, uh, we are on the 22nd, uh, that was the day, 22nd last year is the day that uh, Ian decided to close his door. Sorry to interrupt you there, mate. Go on. Oh, no, no, that's fine. So, so yeah, if I go back to that that period, Dave, we, we, we closed the doors. And then that evening, uh, Boris Johnson actually put, put us into lockdown on the, on the Monday evening. Yeah. Uh, it was worrying times for us. Uh, nobody knew. I don't think furlough had been announced or anything like that. So the team we had here, we, we, we genuinely, we went home from here in tears. We had a meeting and we, we, we were in tears because we, we didn't know how we could sustain. Uh, and, and luckily for me, I've got very loyal staff. So, yeah. you know, I've got staff that have been in it. 11 years, 10 years, seven years, six years. So, so we're, we're like a family yeah. and it was really, really hard to go home, not knowing wh whether we'd have jobs to come back to a business. Yeah. I've got a young family, family to support. Yeah. And, uh, and we just sat and wait really. And, and then gradually as, as you know, the help from the government with the furlough scheme, and uh, and as that progressed, we we then decided it was important to get back open because we are a takeaway. Yeah. And I think after the first few weeks, if I remember rightly, the places were allowed to open for That's takeaway. Right. And and I, I just thought to myself, if I don't get open, I'll, I'll never get back open. And yeah. it, even if we were just serving two or three people a day, so. Yeah. We had a team meeting and we we discussed who wanted to come back and, and work with with myself. Um, yeah. We 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 started just me and another lady, Karen, that came back, and then Tracy came back a couple of weeks later, and then gradually ev everybody came back during yeah. the summer. And uh, and we had to start with a limited menu, but but you know hats off to to the people in the community of culture. They really supported us yeah. in the last 12 months. And uh, I, can't, I can't thank them enough, really. We, we really wouldn't have a business without them. Yeah. No, it is. It's amazing. Well, you do do some nice sandwiches, mate. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know whether they're just being kind or they were just eager to get some of your sandwiches. Well, you did um, when you initially, when the lockdown happened, um, I know you, you put some stuff out online for the people um, and to show them the some of the recipes that you do, because you don't just do the standard sandwiches you have. I know you've done yeah. signature sandwiches, which you, you still do now. And I think, what did you not do one at one point with a community thing with the school where you got the schools to design a perfect sandwich or something? I'm sure. Yeah, we did. Uh, over the years, we've done it a few times. So 
we, we I think we've done it with Twist Green, yeah. and, and we've done it with Culture High. Uh, where, where we set a criteria uh, because I think when we first did it with the kids, we didn't set a criteria. <laughs> What, you have shit and sugar butties or something? Yeah, yeah, you, you should have. They were fantastic to look at, you know. Uh, but, but yeah, they came back with all kinds of <laughs> crazy ideas. But we set a criteria the last time we did it with Twist Green. Yeah. And, yeah, one of, one, one of the lucky... We, we pick a, a winner or we pick something we know we could put on our menu for a week or two. Yeah. And uh, I can't, the, the name's gone, I can't think. I know in the past we, we've had a, something called a, those Jack, Jack's Rainbow Wrap or something like yeah. that. But it, it, it was good and, and the kids enjoyed it and that. Ooh, yeah. And a couple of times the, the primary school have come, come to the shop when we closed and just gone through like, you know, like the serve area. Yeah. And do, do, like pointing out what, what the salads are and the vegetables, uh -huh. et cetera. So, yeah. So yeah, but going back to what you said about lockdown, we uh, what we decided to do is because because we, we were our business had literally shut and we couldn't. We have a lot of loyal customers, and we, yeah. we felt sort of a bit trapped. Really, we just couldn't we, we couldn't serve them, and but we still have a big social media presence, and we have a mailing list uh, that we often communicate with our our customers. Yeah. So we, we felt what better way to communicate with them by telling them how to make some of our top sellers at home. So we have things like a, our, our signature club sandwich, a Mexican BLT, a Spanish wrap. Yeah. So we, we kind of put them out there so that people could make, and it was great. You'd have people messaging in with photos of their own version of it. And that's brilliant. Like that. And it was good. It was good. Yeah. At least now you know as well. You've got uh, you've got a load of new up and coming chefs. If you ever, yeah, yeah. If you ever need to expand, we can start recruiting. <laughs> that's it, mate. That's it. But I think it's great that you've done that for the um, for the community. And it, one of the things I I've only just realised uh, because you told me a second ago, I was amazed when you you actually um, you're a drop off point for um, a big food bank as well, aren't you? Yeah. So again, this this was something again more more to keep my my mind active during during that first lockdown when, when I used to come over to check on the shop and and check on all the the equipment and things yeah I noticed that a few people had asked asked about the food bank and I thought well if I'm present here and you know I'm not doing anything else uh, yeah. so what why not allow people to drop here so we, we did mon during the first bit of lockdown we did monday wednesday and friday pe yeah. between like nine and 12 i think it was where I, I would be here people could drop off and the response was absolutely it was overwhelming really uh it will be yeah because certainly you know the, the last year okay we, we've had it tough the last year but th these food banks should never be short of food yeah. No. Uh, it's a shame it, that families that require it in today's day and age, you know, and exactly. it's out there. And uh, you know, I think it's great that there are these food banks that, that are available and amazing people like yourself who are, who are you know, no, I know not only do you receive these, you know, the foods from the uh, the public, but I know you also add to these donations yourself as a business um, and, and send them off, which I think yeah. Is, so from time to time, we'll we'll add on to our, our wholesale suppliers, you know, like a maybe a crate of beans or chopped tomatoes, things like that. Yeah. But, but since we got back open last uh, last May, we've now made this a, a permanent fixture. So we, uh, we people, people, if they wish to donate to the Warrington Food Bank, they can drop off here Monday to Saturday yeah. during our trading hours, and, and we'll make sure that gets to them. We have a good relationship with the, a guy called Rob there that, as long as we give them 24 hours notice, yeah. they come over in the van the following day because I think they make regular trips to a few other a few other venues over this way. That's that's amazing. So for people who don't know what you do, obviously you've um, you've got the standard sandwiches, everything. I've got to tell people now that the coffees at brunch are by far the best coffees anywhere locally. That that that's coming from me. That is no, I know it's personal preference. 
Um, but they definitely, definitely are. And uh, do you do a, a drinks voucher there as well, where you buy so many, you get one free or something like that? Yeah, so we, uh, we actually have a brunch loyalty card. Okay. So simple little fold card here. Yeah. It actually, so, so it's two-sided, hot drinks on one side, food on the other. Okay. And we stamp it with, with De- 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 Dave often treats his uh, staff. M- mind you, I've not seen Dave treat them. It's often the staff coming in. So I, d- I don't know whether who's paying the. But, be, uh, I don't know. It might be them, might be me. It depends on when <laughs> they're coming in. But on a f- Friday morning, they'll often have uh, f- four flat whites, four or five flat whites. <laughs> so on these cards, you, as you've seen in most coffee shops, you get your, your stamp and then you get your 10th coffee free. And it's the same if you're in for breakfast or lunch. We stamp it for sandwiches. Yeah. So you'll then get, uh, you know, if you're in for four sandwiches, you it, it, it works on the number of sandwiches, not the number of or transactions. Them. Yeah, yeah. So so it, it's incredible good value to come into the store because uh, if you pick up one of these, um, um, 99% of the time, the staff will mention it until anyway, if, you, if you've not got one or if, you, if you're new to one. That's why the office junior always wants to uh, go and get the sandwiches because you get yeah, all yeah. the stamps on there and then they, they end up with us for free. Don't they? That's exa- that, that's how we that's what we tell them as well. You know, get get, them get, shout, get shouting around the office, but don't tell them uh, why you're going. Yeah, that's it. Well, we've got, obviously I mentioned your coffees there. Um, one of the things that I'd like to mention, and um, I, I think other people may not be aware of, um, is the fact that you do actually do you do catering packs. Now, whether that's for a small office or a small party for the uh, cold food, would you, you know? Do you want to just let us let, let everyone know what what type of things you can offer on uh, on those? Yeah, so we we have a we have a catering menu that you can find online. There's a downloadable PDF, uh, plenty of images of our food on there as well. Yeah, I, and we do we do. We do sandwich platters that are a bit bit different than your average, you know, your average M and S platter or anything like that. They're quite quite unique. We have a, a nice and easy platter, a classic, a deluxe, or a vegetarian platter, and then also we have a savoury and sweet menu as well. Okay. And again, all, all the platters are are, are made up uh, for approximately six people. Yeah. But we and the prices are online. You can either come in store and order, ring up, or you can even order online uh, through our click and collect service, which se- se- seems to be happening to, certainly on Fridays. Uh, if people are going into the office, they might be, you know, getting a platter of six sandwiches, and and you just click and collect, and it'll be ready when you come in. That's amazing. Okay, so. I'm just trying to. Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to think now. Is there is there anything else that you want to try and get out there to uh, to the public? So we've already we've touched everybody's heartstrings and let them know how much of a wonderful person you are as uh, as a business owner. And you really are. I mean, the stuff that you've been doing for the food banks and the stuff with the community, I think is uh, I think is really good. And it's nice for people to hear these stories from the local. Um, the local businesses uh, i say this on pretty much every one of the podcasts but i do think it's so so important for the yeah. s- small independent businesses to to, to stick together and, and you know people i really really urge people to to buy local as and where as and where they can so you know is there anything you'd like to add um to it before we before we wrap this up i, I would like to mention uh i've got to mention my team of staff my, my, my team of staff uh I wouldn't be sat here now without them. They're absolutely incredible. Yeah. Uh, we're only a small team, but we work together. And, and, uh, and, and for, for, for everybody to come back in the manner that they did, uh, because as, as you'll know, with, with COVID and everybody's interpretation of COVID is, is different, and that's absolutely fine. But, but yeah, my, my team have been absolutely fantastic. Uh, since they came back, I mean, we got back open in mid middle of May. Yeah, but we didn't get really fully operational probably till September time. Yeah, uh, but they have they really embraced being back at work, and 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 we, as I say, we we wouldn't be here now without them. 
That's amazing, mate. It's nice that you've got the, the I mean, I, I know the girls who work there. We I come in all the time, you know, but um, I do, I think, uh, I think it's great. It, it, there's a lot to be said for the good staff. And it was, it must've been so scary because I think they know because you, you are, like you said before, you're like a, a family. When this happens, shit did it the fan and nobody knew. I remember feeling something very similar with our business and it was the uncertainty of not knowing and, you know, what do we do? Do we know whether we're going to come back? Do we not? It, it was a really scary time. And, and it's it's nice that you've been able to retain those staff um, as well over the, over the period of time because I know for a lot of local businesses um, that we speak to, and of course I'm, I'm sharing these out to everybody else, there's been circumstances where the, the staff have had no option other than to go and find uh, work elsewhere. Um, in industries that were maybe not the same, but they, they've had yeah, to, yeah. And when the businesses have opened back up, they've not, they've not been able to come back because they've got a job now. And it's like, look, Ian, I'm sorry, I love you to bits, and it's been great, but I'm I'm, I'm here now and and I can't leave. So you've been you've been lucky in it, and it goes to show again uh, how you treat your staff, how you must treat your staff, uh, and what goes on there in the business. So yeah, I think it's uh, I think that's good. I think it's great, mate. I do, and also that you know. It, my staff had to come back, not in the same, they didn't have the same hours or the same structure as it was before. So that, that, that not only have I adapted, but the staff have adapted, which is which is credit to themselves, really. I, do, I think we needed to. I mean, I know that your um, you, you click and collect side of the business, that was, it was needed um, at certain points throughout the lockdown. But I know obviously you did, you did a big rebranding um, <laughs> halfway through COVID, um, rebranded. Obviously, I know you've had the click and collect previously, but that must have been a real um, a real bonus for you when that started taking off. I would I would assume more. Yeah, that, that, that's kind of growing week by week, really. The uh, the click and collect because we, we we I've had that this click and collect in place for for a number of years now. But we used to do a lot of deliveries to the offices, right? Uh, and I think, as I stated before, with with, with our cate, office catering and our online deliveries, yeah. probably 30, 35% of our business yeah. pre-COVID, well, that, that just got wiped off the face of the earth because yeah. it, even some of our clients now, up at Birchwood, up at Risley, they, they still haven't gone back office-wise. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, but by... So because we took the, deli the office delivery system away, we, we felt it was still important to, to have an online system. So we, we just kind of flipped it to click and collect. And that's worked really well because, as I said before, about pe people's, everybody has their own view about COVID. Everybody's, some people are washing their hands every five minutes. Some people aren't. Some, but when you're coming... We, we wanted to make sure our sh our shop is as safe as possible for people yeah. to come in. Yeah. So we, we put the screens up before we got back open in May. We were probably one of the first to do that. Yeah. And then as the click and collect gathered momentum, we now have a designated area as you come into the door to the right. Yeah. If you're if you've ordered for a certain time, your your lunch will be there with your ticket and your name on. So you don't even have to, if, if you're a bit cautious of coming into a, a shop where there might be two or three other people in there, yeah. uh, you can just grab your bag and, and off you go. Yeah, brilliant. brilliant. And, and like you say, that's growing time and time. I was speaking to you earlier about that and uh, just asking how that click and collect system works. And it's it's quite clever the way that it works because it's timed. You can actually order it. I don't know, you could be in bed at seven in the morning if you know what you want for your lunch, but you can be in bed yeah. saying, well, collect this at 12 o'clock and it's yeah. there. You could, go on, you could go on now, Dave, yeah. and order your flat whites for the morning. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you give me them free after this video. <laughs> so <laughs> morning. Well, on your ninth order, you'll get your 10th Oh, cheers, mate. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> But no, it, it, it works in fifteen minute slots. Yeah. So so when you go on, you can you can you can pick pick a time that suits you really. Yeah, fantastic, mate. And that's that's collectible from from eight a.m. till two p.m. 
Perfect. And how was things going? So we mentioned the rebranding before. You've got the new the new outlook inside. I'm just looking at this, obviously the signs inside have changed. How have you found it with with the rebranding, going from the brunch to, to to brunch and trying to offer something a bit different? Yeah, it, it probably probably took about a month for people to to drop the lure. Yeah, but we kind of we, we were fortunate when we when we took over this 13 years ago. Uh, it was called, it, so it was a sandwich shop before us. Yeah. And it was called Le Brunch. And we just thought, well, it had a good name in the village. Yeah. So it'd be silly to change the name. But as time goes on, people would always, uh, I myself used to go to network, would go to a networking event with a business card that said Le Brunch on. Yeah. Every time somebody would say, oh, is it a French place? <laughs> And it, and it wasn't a friend's place. And, and it kind of like, the, the brand we've got now is, has been a long time coming, probably about 18 months of, of planning, really. Yeah. Uh, and it's more, it is what it is. We, we do breakfast and we do lunch. Yeah. So we've nearly got the name there, so why not call it brunch? It, yeah. it is what it, we do what it says on the tin. We do breakfast, we do lunch, we do coffee. Yeah. And it's just really bold and, and simple. The, the, yeah. the branding's really eye-catching. What was ironic when we changed it and we, we, we got the new sign up, uh, the first day, we had people coming in that went, how long have you been open? We said, like, 12 and a half years. <laughs> and they were like, oh, we come past it. We just thought you were an estate agent like the other two. Right, got you, yeah. So, so, so it's, ama it's amazing what the brand's done yeah. for us, but it's just a lot clearer and, and you know, we've got the branded coffee cups now and everything's just, you know, it, it's all coming together now. So you're not French. I always had you down for being French. <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> well, I was going to try and do, say something French then, but... Uh, That's the only thing I know, mate. I know gracias in Spanish and I know bonjour in French. That's as far as, as my languages go. Right. Okay. So do you know what, mate? It's been, as always, it's been a pleasure um, speaking to you. I'll put all of the details of your website and contact details for those who don't know um, and your phone numbers. Yes. But for anybody out there now, like I say, look, this is all about promoting local businesses. Um, and if you can support these local businesses, support them. There's no easier way than supporting a local business than grabbing a coffee. Um, and I guarantee you that they're amazing, these coffees. And while you're in there, why not have a sandwich? Who knows? Um, but yeah, that's all from me. Um, thanks again, Ian, for coming on, mate, and spending the oh, time. Thank you, mate. Thanks for, thank, thanks for your time. You're welcome, mate. Right, that's it for now. Um, stay tuned, guys, because we've got more people coming up um, in the next couple of days. And for now, thanks a lot. Goodbye. Cheers. <laughs>